Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of What Should I Draw? My name is Jesus Conde and today we're going to be doing a battle rock. So the comment came from the John 77, I think is the name, uh, and it's the battle rock from Lord of the Rings. So let's get started. So the first thing I did obviously was to make the sketch. The sketch is like the basic idea and I just look and went to internet to look for um, ideas of what could I do and some things I didn't remember at all like for example the barrel has a sword and a whip and I thought okay let's do one with the sword and the, let's do one with the whip right then I saw some images from the game and it turns out that in the game he has like some kind of a circle that he's the the, the way he spawns is with the circle right so I thought that could be cool to have something like that in one of the images and well obviously here you can see that the um, the quality of the drawings is quite low that's the way I start all my drawings they start really really sketchy uh, because I'm trying to find what to do right like what um, what shapes can I can I have like what silhouette um, to be honest I don't get to worry about the silhouette that much I know it's, it could be like a kind of a mistake but I really like the, the to draw freely and sometimes I think uh, for some reason when, when I'm thinking too much about the silhouette I mean it's something that happens to me um, the drawings turn, tend to look more like to the side like um, for me they look plain when I, when I do the uh, when I worry too much about the silhouette like they have to be like uh, three quarters or to one side um, to be completely from he will have to have like the arms really open and stuff like that so you can see the silhouette but that is just personal like uh, I mean I know it, it, it's like uh, even silly to say that uh, I'm not working with the silhouette right because that's one of the most important things in a drawing but anyway that's a personal taste thing um, I do care about it uh, when I'm doing the the line art I tend to to draw line harder uh, harder lines to put some line weight so you can see the silhouettes better and the shapes better but that's something like more like a I think that's more like a rendering stage uh, another thing um, while doing it I noticed that it was looking really weird like I didn't like the shape of the head at all and it turns out the thing that um, you can see that in the full video on the P, uh, on the Goombro page obviously but uh, here you will see uh, too much of that the thing is I was doing the head too big like I was doing the head huge and by doing that he looked kind of cartoony so when I reduced the size of the head, it immediately looked more like massive, like giant, and it looked way better uh, at the end. And I was—I have to tell you, man, I, I was struggling. I was struggling with the with the shape. Uh, I don't draw this kind of stuff too often. So for the head, I kind of like had to struggle a bit to get the some cool design because the design was really I mean the the original request was to make an original bar rock but I was like I cannot do a, a, an original bar rock I mean the the design from the movie is like so awesome doing whatever that is not that but they probably took years designing or months uh, it's gonna be like fail it's gonna be completely failure because it's like trying to top something that is really super awesome so I just went ahead and do the same thing uh, or at least try to do the same thing uh, I, I think it looks a bit different uh, but it, it, was, it was mostly different because I didn't know how to do it not because I wanted to do it <laughs> different in purpose but I tried to make it cool that's what is um, what is important at the end uh, for example here I was struggling with the where to put the the sword uh, at the beginning I was doing it like kind of like a, uh, the back of the horns obviously that wouldn't happen uh, I there I, I changed the size of the head and the drawing changed completely to me then I went ahead and sketched what I thought I the changes I needed to make it look cooler 
and I was like, okay, this is working a little bit better for me now. So I went and do it in, and did it in, in blue so I could see the difference better of what I was uh, working on, right? So um, in one of the versions, I think it's John Howe version. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember if it was his version, but one of the versions, it has hair and it's not completely made of, of fire like in the movie but uh so I, I went and did something kind of like okay instead of hair he has like a flame hair instead of, of hair on the back um the whipped i wanted to do it kind of like uh, really um a lot of curves and it kind of like in front of our faces um going something there uh, I really wanted to try and make the perspective looking good, like uh, the, the things that are closer look um, bigger than the ones uh, that are, are really far away. I wanted to catch that a bit. Um, so it, would, it, it, it was a challenge. It was a challenge to do this, to do this thing. So, okay, now we are, we are approaching to the part where I'm, I'm really happy with all the elements that I have. I have like only the because of the head was the the part that was really a problem to me i was really trying to get in that right like once i get the head right i can do whatever and it doesn't matter <laughs> to me if every, everything is kind of like bad looking but the, if the head is right to me i'm done like that's enough for me so here i'm just trying to sketch some some particles like because I, I thought okay this thing is made of fire it's fire on lava basically so I was like unless I have a lot of particles and stuff like that uh, that requires a lot of detail uh, this thing is not going to look good at all so that's what I was trying to get there uh, and here is the thing that I was telling you about the, the game that it looked kind of like a, like a circle of flames coming from the from the ground so there you have it, I'm like adding and adding particle and details, particle and details everywhere. Like jump them here and there to put a lot of uh, uh, wrinkles and a lot of um, details to make it look huge because this, th this thing is massive. Okay, so <clears throat> now here I was doing a little test of how the line weight could be to make it look interesting. Uh, because for me that's really important that make it makes it look uh, cooler when you have some language and also makes makes the drawing you can understand the drawing better when you have a cool line weight, line weight. Uh, you can see the shapes uh, way better than if you don't so I was trying to get that right and once I have that I feel like way more confident at the beginning I was really worried that I wasn't going to get the the thing that you guys wanted with the bad work and then I felt a little bit better uh, about it while doing it uh, lately I haven't got too much time to record these things so I'm uh, I'm a bit of struggling about uh, about doing the YouTube videos but I'm doing my best to, to keep at it what you are going to notice is that I'm going to reduce the produ the, pro the the production time so I'm going to take out some of the screens that you see like at the end and stuff like that uh, and you can just click at the right of the screen there's a button that says PSD you can click there to unlock the 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 PSD of the of this video also there are other tutorials there. If you want to, to support this channel, you can uh, buy any of those tutorials. I'm trying to keep them uh, on a really low price. Um, and these ones are um, just for free. You can just um, get in there for free. Okay, so right now I'm just adding more and more line weight to the, to the parts that I believe need to be more um, shaped. Like you can see the, the, the parts that you want to see first time, like when you open the image and you see this image, what is the, the what, you, what you should see first? And for me is the head and some of the closer details like the hands, the head and the hands will be the first things and then you will look at everything else on the image. So what is the, the head and the hands will have like most of the detail for me and then like the particles is just like there for 
light to to make it look cooler and that will be it also I'm trying to put a little bit of shading not too much just a little bit tiny tiny bit of shading to make the kind of like the silhouette pop against the background just a little this is not too much this is really really little uh, to be honest and all the particles are really close I'm trying to make them uh, look a little bit darker uh, with the uh, outline with the line weight so you can see that they are a bit closer <clears throat> also it's kind of like I'm lighting I'm, I'm, I'm lighting the thing for example you can see that the that the legs are a bit uh, darker than the hands so you can see clearly notice the difference between what's head and I mean what's the leg and what's the hand right so it's really really easy um, I don't know man, I, what, what else can I tell you? Uh, you can download the, the PSD on the Gumbrook page and I will try to record as much as I can and upload every week but it's kind of like a difficult thing uh, these days <clears throat> Okay, so here I, I'm adding a little bit of, uh, of particles in one of the wings, like he, he was like uh, crushing the, some column or the door of that place to 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 pass through, so that's what I'm doing. There, I have like a lot of um, particles and stuff. Okay, guys, so this is it. Remember to download the PSD if you want to see see it in detail, or if you want to to have the perspective grid that I use. is is not a trick of Photoshop. It's not. I did it myself on three three um, three D Max, and just made a render and put it there. So you can download that and talk to you next time. Thank you very much.